This is the ninth turn of my 2020 aerobic compost heap. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do much talking. I'm going to just f flip through this pile very quickly. Uh, I'll put this video on speed time lapse. You can kind of see it all really quick. I'm not adding anything, so there's nothing for me to go running around on or nothing special to watch like the greens. You'll just see maybe some steam coming out of the pile as I'm turning it. If I turn it really fast. Um, I think I might turn it 11 times. I'm going to do every two days now, so right now I'm at two days since the last turn. I've been, the entire pile has been flipped at minimum of two days and eight hours. And then another large portion is two days and 16 hours or so. And then twice I waited three days just to find out what would happen. I, I don't believe I've done three days. I know I've never done three days twice in a row. Now this is my 11th pile, so there might have been a time when I did three days just because I went hunting or fishing or something, I don't know. Can't remember for sure. Well, I've got uh, all but two of those piles on, on YouTube. You can go look for yourself if you want. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I got too much material up. I can't even re-review what I've put up. But anyways, I'm um, just gonna get to it and see what happens. I might just, oh, I was going to say I might distribute this the next flip, which is which will be Friday, but more than likely I'm going to wait until Sunday, and I'm counting that as one of the turns, so this distribution would be the final turn of this pile.
why I'm doing this is because this is the only method that humans can employ to improve their situation, improve the fertility in their soil. All other systems that are human based take the soil and our habitat and our fertility and our succession backwards. And the farther it's taken backwards, the longer it's going to take time to repair. The reason why I'm doing this and putting it on film is because I want you to do it too. This is the only method that we have to improve our lot. Now those people who have profited off of these systems, you know, they're insulated. They don't, they can't feel the problems that are existing today. They're in a bubble. They aren't going to react to what's happening with our environment. They just want, they're just focusing on the money aspect of their life. Don't listen to those people. Don't follow what they're doing. Follow this type of a program. Follow, go to Permaculture, a designer's manual. It's a book. And learn about the scientific influences on this planet. And, you know, and consider the reason why we even exist is because of these scientific influences. And right now humanity is wearing those influences down. And at the same time we're growing our numbers and we're relying even on more destruction, destructive practices. This is a way we can begin to repair the situation. As everybody takes, a, takes responsibility for themselves and for their own little piece of land. And if you don't have one, man, you got to work to get one. And maybe we have to have a revolution to change the, the land use situation. Maybe we do. Okay, well then so be it. Then we do. But this is a way that we can repair the environmental mechanisms of the planet. So, okay. I thank you very much. I don't even want to thank anybody. I, I, I don't need to thank anybody. You're here because you're, you're, you're not here because you're being entertained. You're here because you want to learn how to do it. So what I'm telling you is just go do it. So stay tuned for the next episode of As the Compost Turns. <laughs> yeah, that was good.